being on the on the Zoom. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it was a good opener for us. Really, really pleased for the guys. Um, you know, we hammered away all night long and um, created some good opportunities. Um, you know, the finishing what could be a little bit better, but uh, overall, honestly, for uh, the first night, it's a, it's a really good performance. I was really happy with it for the guys. Are we muted or something? Are we good to ask questions? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Yeah, okay, I wasn't sure, okay. okay. Um, yeah, so what, what was just, obviously you've, you've coached a lot of games in, in your career and, and won a lot of them, and uh, just what was this game day experience today like? How does it compare to all the other games you've coached? You know, getting up in the morning, getting ready for the game today, just knowing everything, you know, we've been through these past few months, just what was it like? That's a fine question. It was exactly the same. Same, uh, you know, uh, uh, alertness, same uh, anxiety is not the right word, but same, uh, you know, excitement, getting ready for the game, same process of, that we're going through, a checklist of things we're going to do for the match, um, you know, and for the university to open in the first athletic event and, and to have a beautiful evening where we had, uh, you know, a fine crowd, obviously limited due to the, the situation. I think we sold out of the student tickets, actually. Um, so it was all, overall a really good, uh, everything was the same, except obviously usually we have 5,000 in the sedans. Um, and that kind of helps us, you know, that helps power us. Uh, we didn't have that, but, um, you know, the guys were so excited to play at home and uh, it, was, it was really great. Yeah, well, what was that, you know, how, how did you see with your players, how did they respond to, you know, that atmosphere today, having it feel a little bit different than, you know, previous season openers? How did those guys handle it? Sure, uh, I thought really well. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's the old thing, you know, you, once you step over the stripe and you get, and the ball starts moving, you know, that's all you're focused on. So, um, yeah, they were, they were right on, right on par, ready to go. Um, you know, the introductions were a little odd, you know, cause we didn't walk out and, you know, we're, we're hitting them with all this stuff that they need to do a little differently. And they took everything in stride. Mark, how weird was it not having 5,000? You mentioned the, the fans. How weird was it to have only a couple thousand there, a couple hundred there? And with, did you hear any conversations in the crowd? What was that like not being able to kind of have that hum of the crowd around you? Yeah, that's true. Um, definitely, that's a good observation. You know, it wasn't as loud as it usually is. And, uh, you know, you don't really hear conversations. You really don't hear too much because you're, you're kind of focused in on what you're doing. But, um, you know, one of the things is when you're, when you're directing players, when you're kind of giving some instruction to them, they can actually hear you, which is, uh, which is uh, nice. So that's kind of good. Sometimes I think they just act like they can't hear you when there's a big crowd, you know, but uh, anyway, whatever. Did, did the win feel, you know, any extra sweet given everything that you guys have, have been through these last few months? I mean, how did, how did the guys react to it? Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. They were, they were overjoyed. They were overjoyed. Um, you know, um, like, you know, we had, we, you know, we've had guys that have had go, gone through a lot since July 5th, you know, and there's always a lot of concern. There's always a lot of angst, just like there is in the general population. Our guys have been working really hard and, you know, this is who they are. Being out on that field tonight is who they are. It's, it's what they want to do. And um, so, first of all, thanks again to our administration and to the university for allowing us the opportunity to play because that's not a small thing. As I said, I think before, I think I'm not sure, but you know, like there might be 20 teams in the country out of 200 that are playing. So for us, it's a wonderful gift and responsibility to represent the university. Our guys were over the moon. They were excited. Mark, why is it, why was it so important for you guys to play? Um, tonight and just for you guys and for the student body and for, for pretty much the city of Columbia, why, why was it so important to play? 
Well, I think it, it's, a, it's important because of the, what sport means to our university, to our community, to our state, to our nation. You know, um, it's part of the American psyche. It's part of the American experience. Um, so it's a little bit of normalcy that um, has to be carefully crafted for the safety of our guys. But within those confines, you know, it's uh, just a wonderful celebration of what we in this country like to do. And for our players in particular, this is like, again, this is who they are. I mean, they come to the University of South Carolina and our soccer program to, to get a great education and to play. And so this was just, a, it was like a celebration as well as a game, I think, for them. And obviously winning made it uh, even better. Um, you know, talking about that safety, you know, were there any, you know, at any point, any concerns or anything that popped up, you know, getting ready for this game or during this week, as far as, you know, from a COVID perspective, or was everything, you know, good to go? Was everything, you know, cleared and, and good to go for this game? Well, it was cleared and good to go, but there was a lot of processes. I mean, the referees had to be tested. The uh, opponents had to be tested. Everything had to be documented. So um, there was a lot of hoops that everyone was jumping through. You know, our players had to be tested, but we were tested. We were actually tested twice this week. So, you know, our players, are, it's what we do. Um, and to be honest, it's what our opponents are all doing now too. But it's really different with the referees and all these things you have to attend to. Again, I do think it's because this is the first one. It's a little tricky, but I think after this, hopefully this will just become what we do. It'll be normal. Anything else, guys? All right, if that's it, we'll All move right, on guys. to... Thank uh, I, I don't have anything else. All right, guys, thank you, Kevin. Once thank again, you. guys, thanks. I got a couple players here. Yeah, thank you for your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Logan, you want to go first? Yeah. All righty. Uh, next up, we'll go with Logan Frost, tonight's first goal. What's up, everyone? Hey, Logan. Uh, Michael and Anna with the, the state newspaper. Uh, first of all, just, you know, how did it feel today? You know, obviously, game day, you guys have been waiting for this for a while. I'm sure you weren't sure if it was going to happen this fall I mean how did today feel compared to you know other times you've you know played soccer I mean what was that experience like well I mean we've been under strict protocol for a while now <laughs> so yeah. it felt really good to finally play a game after being here for two months I think around then so it actually felt really good to get back to normal and play a soccer game after everything we've been doing is this the first interview you've ever done on zoom uh, yes, on Zoom. Yes, it has. <laughs> what, what's, how unique is this experience for you guys having all these different protocols and having to do on Zoom and not having kind of the, the crowd behind you? What, what's it like to go through this as a player? Honestly, it's, it's pretty hard because there's a lot of rules we have to follow, a lot of things we're prohibited from doing, which we weren't last year. So it is a big transition. But after tonight, like, I mean, it was worth it. Like, it was super fun to actually be able to play. And that goes to the administration and Dre Tanner and all the coaches for helping show us and what we really need to do to be able to play and what rules need to be in place to allow us to play. What, what did it feel like to, to score that first goal? Uh, can, can you take us through that play a little bit and how that sort of materialized and just what it felt like? Yeah, I think – I was out wide and I saw Brian get it and turn the guy and slip me. So honestly, it was a good ball into Brian. Brian found me. So I was just a lucky one to get on the end of it, honestly. Like there's 10 other players on the field. They found me. So I think I was just a lucky one that got on the score sheet. Did it mean, did it mean something any extra in that moment? You know, I, I know sometimes I'm sure it's tough in the middle of a game to be able to put things in context like that, but was it any extra, you know, special for you at all, just given everything that's, that's gone on? Yeah, it meant a lot to me, months. honestly, just because 
I mean, it's been – since we played uh, in the spring, it's been like seven months. So, it, yeah, it meant a lot to start the season off pretty well with the goal and hopefully do score some more in the next coming year. Anything else for Logan, guys? Yeah, I Awesome. Thank you, Logan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, guys. So we're going to close out tonight's media uh, with Brian Banahan, who um, obviously scored our second goal of the night there with about nine seconds left. So, Brian, take it away. What's up, guys? Hey, Brian. How are you? So, nine seconds left. Uh, <laughs> what does it feel like to be able to, you know, get that goal there? at the end what are the you know emotions like for you just just the the feelings of obviously such a weird off season a weird last few months for for everybody yeah no it's been crazy it was just great to feel all of that like pay off tonight all the hard work and protocols we've been following everything for the last couple of months just to have that all come together tonight and get a big win on our first night on our first game it means a lot to everyone here and we're just super thankful to administration ray tanner all the coaches and everyone, because without them, we wouldn't be able to be playing right now. So big shout out to all of them. Yeah. And, you know, Logan was talking about the, the safety protocols, too. And just curious, how, how important is it, you think, as far as just, you know, team accountability, just, you know, teammates keeping each other accountable and making sure that, you know, you're following the protocols and staying safe and, you know, staying out of harm's way and, and all of that with, you know, COVID-19. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. Like, we all know the responsibility that each of us have because if one of us comes up positive, it can knock, like, multiple guys out of weeks of training and everything. So we all know what we owe each other, and we're just trying to be honest and transparent with each other and just keep everyone accountable so that we're all on the same page and that everyone can be there week in and week out for the next couple games we have. What were emotions like for you for you and the, the rest of the team today kind of before the game? Everyone was just so ready to go. I mean – it's been, what, 10 months since our last, like, competitive game. So, for a lot of us, like, we've been preparing for this for almost, like, a year now. So, we were just all buzzing to get out there, and we were ready to put on a show for everyone who came out tonight, thanks to all the fans and everyone. And that they made us safe with the amount of fans that are allowed to come because even just a few of them make such a difference when you're playing at home. So, it was just great to do that in front of them tonight. You know, you guys obviously have pretty big crowds, at least to start the year, especially. Um, what was it like playing in front of, I guess, a limited crowd? And were you able to kind of hear any conversations or anything as you ran by them or pregame or anything like that? I mean, yeah, it was a limited crowd. But that being said, that's like more people than we've been around the last like couple months. So to us, it still felt like a lot of people were there. And you can hear them all during the game, like cheering you on and backing you, which like helps you so much as a player to like, keep pushing when you get tired and everything. And yeah, they're a great help to us here. At, at what point today, you know, during the process between getting up and, uh, you know, going to the stadium and just everything that you're going through the safety protocols, at what point did it kind of feel normal? Did it feel like, okay, this is just a, a normal soccer game? Did it at any point did that kind of click in for you? Honestly, like all these games are just normal soccer games to us. Like, we yeah. know the protocols we have to keep up, but we know what we're focused on too. And you can't let outside things distract you going into games like this because at this level, obviously, teams will punish you for that. So we just have our minds on the goal and know what we have to do. And, yeah, we were all just so excited today to get back out there and show what we've been working on. And what did you think of just, you know, facing, you know, being able to face an actual other opponent, being able to see somebody else and take somebody on? What was it like just getting back out there? And what was kind of the competition like with these guys tonight? Yeah, it was it was definitely weird to go against people that you like haven't really been around. Um, but it was great just to have competition again and knowing you're competing against other guys because everyone on this team is a competitor. We all want to beat everyone who comes in front of us. So, yeah, to have actual real opponents again, it was a great feeling. All righty, if that's it, guys, Brian, I'm going to let you go. All right, sweet. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. All righty, guys, thank you for sticking in there with me for tonight. I 